Hello, everybody, and welcome into the Sports Edge High School Minute. I'm here with Game Time CT High School Sports Reporter Henry Chisholm, and we're going to be talking about some high school girls basketball. We're going to be going through all three of the uh, tournaments, Class Double L, Class L, Class M, and Class S, actually, four tournaments. So we're mm -hmm. uh, going to be looking at who you think is going to win each tournament, who you think the sleepers are, and different teams. So uh, first off, I guess we'll start off Double L. Yeah. And Henry Danbury is the number one seed in Double L, 19-1 and one record this year. Do you think they're as good, maybe, as people are uh, making them out to be? I think they can be. You know, they've got a lot of talent. They've got Rachel and Rebecca Gartner, the two twins. They play great defense. They steal the ball a lot. The FCX tournament, in none of their games, they scored 50 points or more. That could be a problem against some of the better teams in Class Double L, but I definitely think they are a legitimate title contender. Who else do you think in Class Double L could make a run? Well, you know, you got to look at the defending champs, Mercy. I mean, they've got Maura Fitzpatrick. She won Southern Connecticut Conference, most outstanding player for this tournament. They're coming off a huge win in their uh, SEC tournament. They beat Career 56-32 in the championship game. So, you know, I like them. I like Career. Marlton Hall, they won the SWC the other night. They worked so hard to win this game that when it was over, they didn't celebrate. Like, they were, like, mad because they had to play so hard. So, I mean, they, they're a good team, too. They've got a lot of talent, good coach, and Amanda Forcucci. That, it's a loaded class. That sounds like a motivated team, a team that's mad after they win. Yeah, exactly. Game like we that. wanted to win by more points. <laughs> <laughs> I think that bodes well for the tournament. Um, other teams, obviously, career, as you mentioned, Mercy career, Mercy beating career in the uh, SEC championship game. Yeah. So you think Mercy is going to go all the way? I think they will. And it's funny because they played each other three times this year in the regular season. Uh, career won the first game. No, they lost the first game. Then they won the second one in double overtime. Huh. Then they lost in the championship game by like 24. I think they've alternated wins and losses, but in the playoffs, they could play again in the quarterfinals. I give the edge to Mercy. That'd be an interesting matchup. Uh, moving on to Class L, um, Capital Prep, the top seed there. Can anybody beat them? They're the only undefeated team in the state. Can anybody really... Uh, give them a challenge in this time. I'll give you the short answer, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I think Weaver can challenge them. The only Achilles heel I see with Capital Prep is they're not deep. They've got like six, seven players that play. They had the same issue last year and they still won the state championship, but they were in Class S. I think Weaver's good. They've got their two point guards that used to play at Capital Prep, so they may know some things. It's like Charles Oakley and uh, Bill Cartwright with the Bulls and the Knicks back in the day when they made that trade. It could be like that. They might know some secrets that Capital Prep has, huh. but I give the extra capital prep for class L. I like that comparison going back to 90s basketball. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> when it was real basketball. <laughs> That's right. None of this LeBron stuff. Right? <laughs> um, who else in that class? Uh, obviously some different teams, plenty of good teams in that class, but who else do you think can make a run and maybe make a challenge in that class? You know, I think Ledger is good enough to, you know, make a, put a good run together and challenge them. You know, I think Hill House could potentially do the same thing, but I'm going with Capital Prep when we were I see those two teams playing in the championship game with Capital Prep winning it. Uh, moving on to Class N now, uh, Holy Cross is the number one seed, 19 and one. Out of that NVL, uh, Cromwell at number two, 19 and one as well. Are those the two teams that you think are maybe the two biggest contenders? Do you see any other teams coming in and making a run right? I like both those teams. Holy Cross, they've been good all year from a record standpoint. That one came in a non-conference game for Morrison Hall. They lost 65-29 to 29 last game of the year. Huh. So that obviously raised a bunch of question marks about are they good enough to beat good teams, especially when the state tournament comes around. I like Cromwell. They've got Janelle Harrison. She's going off to play Division One ball at Hartford. Morgan, you got to watch out for. Sandy Ashton, Ben Dawson, Adam Killingworth as well. They've been playing really hard. They're without their center, Kylie Anderson. Huh. But, you know, they play really – well together and teams like that are hard to beat in the playoffs because they just do things the right way they don't turn the ball over they make timely baskets but i give that to cromwell to repeat and win that class again huh. and i think morgan obviously a team that always has plenty of success they could be a team that could be a sleeper this year uh, yeah. class s uh who do you like in that class i might be happy about this one you pick yeah <laughs> i got thomason that's right i know it was tough last year losing to uh capital prep in the final yep. capital prep is gone you know, I think both teams you got to watch out for. St. Paul, you got to watch out for. Don't get too excited just yet, but I, I like Thompson. Right. Henry Chisholm, he knows everything about girls' basketball in the state of Connecticut. <laughs>